Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for Friday of the 33rd week of Ordinary Time. I'm Brother Joe Trout, here to reflect with you today on the beautiful gospel passage about the cleansing in the temple. Now, it's one that I'm willing to bet most of us have heard a lot of times, and people run a bunch of different directions trying to make sense out of what is Jesus doing in all of this. But I'd like to focus us today on just one tiny line from it and a whole bunch of other ideas within Christianity. This one little line that Jesus says, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it into a den of thieves. The temple is supposed to be a house of prayer, and that it's been turned into this chaotic mess of a lot of different things going on there. Okay, that's important. Let's talk about the temple. That's interesting. But today I'd like us to ponder instead this New Testament notion that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And in an age where a lot of us aren't getting into churches that often, aren't able to have the normal rhythm of church life that we're used to, what does it mean for me to be a house of prayer and not be a den of thieves? You know, we focus a lot in these different uh, kind of Word of Hope series on moral implications of life and trying to, you know, get rid of the bad things we do and try and stop these bad practices, be a person of hope. But you know that pushing out the den of thieves is to leave space for God to dwell within me. That I'm not just driving things away, I'm making space for God to be at home and to rest within me. And to have a, a peace and a presence there that's filling me up. So it's not about emptiness. Like, a moral life isn't one of emptiness whatsoever. It's about creating the space for God. So today, just take a moment, step back. You know, maybe don't think about the moral implications of how to not be a den of thieves today. Ignore that for just a little bit. And instead, focus on this. I am a house of prayer. God is dwelling within me, and just let him spread. Thank you, and God bless.